Hi, Alexandria. Hi. So, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, yeah. and uh, very gorgeous today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm a little bit tired, but oh. I am <laughs> surviving. <laughs> <laughs> Did you drink? Yes. I went out with some friends. Yes, we had some fun. There was a uh, Songkran festival. Yes, Rolling Loud, the first one in Asia. It was absolutely killer. It was so amazing. Thank you for everyone who organized it. Um, it was in Pattaya for three days and it was amazing. It was amazing. We saw artists like Travis Scott, Offset, Curdy B. Chris Brown, which he is one of my favorite artists. So I was so happy and excited to see him. Did you join the after party? Yes, I went to some after parties, which the highlight of it was the second day, I think. <laughs> we went to Chris Brown's after party, so I got to talk to him and hang out with him, and it was a dream come true. So I will never forget that night, ever. <laughs> Great. So what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I enjoy playing sports like tennis, horseback riding. I enjoy reading. I love to meditate also. I'm a big spiritual practitioner, I want to say. <laughs> but yes, those are my, I'd say my top three mm. okay. in that category. So you are modeling, so yes. what is the hardest thing for modeling work for you? I would say being away from family. I would say that is probably the hardest because I am very close with my family, so... It's really far from your family. Yeah, it's yeah. hard being hard. Yeah, right. What are your strengths? As a person, I would say my strengths are my kindness and my heart. It's really hard in this show today to meet people who are genuinely caring and loving and I'd say I'm one of those people. So I say that is probably my biggest strength. Yeah right, you are very kind. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah I noticed that when I met you. Yes, the first time. thank you. <laughs> yeah. What part do you want to improve about yourself? I think gaining more self discipline and self control is my biggest priority right now. So after I leave here, which is in a week, I am, when I go back to Bulgaria, I will be really taking the time to be with me and work on that. What is the best experience you have had in your modeling job? My modeling job? I actually recently... I wouldn't say all of them have been pretty amazing, but one of my favorite things that I've done. I went to a Vogue event a month ago, I believe. Yes. Uh, there was, it was their 10th anniversary event here in Bangkok. And I got to go to that, which was absolutely amazing. One of my friends also performed, so it was really nice seeing him perform. And yeah. What is the craziest shoot you've ever been on? The craziest shoot? Okay, recently I did a a shoot for a skincare brand in India and we shot on a train but it was a fake train it was really interesting it was cool oh. I'd say that was probably the craziest have you ever had to deal with any unethical behavior or harassment in the modeling <laughs> industry one time actually I was working with an Indian client and he was yelling at me because he thought I wasn't doing a good enough job, which he could have just talked to me normally, but he chose violence that day, <laughs> but it's okay. I kind of handled it, I'd say, okay, I'm not someone that would fight back with you. I'm very calm most of the time, but yeah, I, that, that was the only bad experience I've ever had, so. All my other shoots have been amazing. What do you think is the most misunderstood aspect of the modern industry? I feel like a lot of people's perspective on models, they believe we are very dumbed down, very shallow. 
and it fascinates me because every time people meet me they're like oh, you're so smart you're so this and I'm like yes why wouldn't I be so I think that is probably the biggest misunderstanding about models how do you balance your work as a model with your personal life I think I just try to remember that whenever I do have free time though I should use it to do things that I enjoy doing other than modeling whether it's going to the gym to exercise or being with my friends or just taking time to be alone with myself because I do get to meet and work with big groups of people. So when I do get time alone, it's nice to just balance that out with being, taking time to be with myself. Are there any differences in duty standards between Canada and Thailand? For sure. I mean, the beauty standards here they have, they like more of a white-toned models, more Asian models also, whereas in Canada, I would say it's more diverse, almost, I want to say, yeah. Who do you respect the most? I'd say for me, someone in the industry that I respect a lot, would be fashion designers because they put so much work in their product and just for people to go and buy with one click when so many hours has been put into it and i think that's a big also thing that people don't realize because the people are like why does this cost so much why does this cost so much but uh, they don't understand how many months and hours and hard work it's been put into that one outfit that you're buying so I'd say fashion designers for me. I have the most respect for them. It's interesting. Mm, yes. Can you tell me about a particularly interesting or memorable experience you had in Thailand? Oh, so many. I mean, I'd say a really memorable experience. I was recently in Phuket to do a shoot for this amazing brand called Climate Right. And I had so much fun. It was really fun being with my, because I also worked with my friends, some of them were my friends, and I got to work with them, so it was amazing. I think that's probably one of the most memorable experiences that I've had here. But anyways, it's overall, like, every experience I've had here has been amazing. Yeah, you, you seem to enjoy Thailand. I enjoy every day of every moment of every life. Do you watch YouTube usually, though? Um... I sometimes, yes. Do you have any favorite YouTube channel? Yes, Jay Shetty. It's a kind of a health mixed spiritual podcast. I'd say he's such an amazing person and he interviews some of the most amazing people and he learns so much. So I'd say that right now is my favorite. Oh, yeah, I will watch it. Yes, you should. Yeah. What kind of music do you enjoy listening to? I really enjoy jazz music. Mm. Jazz music, I like pop. But I say jazz is my number one. I am such a jazz lover. Yes, you have to visit some jazz bars here. They have some incredible ones. You speak multiple languages. Yes. How has that skill helped you in your career? In my career, it hasn't really because I don't speak Thai, so it hasn't been helping. But Overall, I'd say it. I think it pushes my brain to be more creative and think more and expand more. And it's just great being able to communicate with people in different countries, knowing their language. Because when when you're in a foreign country and you can't speak the language, you feel kind of shut out because you can't. You feel kind of left out. What motivated you to start learning Italian? I've always had a big obsession with Italian. I love the language, I love everything about Italy. So I was like, okay, now it's time to learn the language too. How do you stay healthy and uh, in shape as a model? In shape? Um, I've always liked to eat healthy. I'm a big health lover, I'm obsessed with health. Like, absolutely obsessed. I watch so much and read so much on it, so... Knowing how to balance your food palette, 
eating healthy, not eating too much sugar, getting regular, regular exercise, just making sure you feel good. And that is the biggest thing. As long as you feel good and you know and you give yourself self-love, that is the biggest thing you can do. Thank you for your time. And, uh, Thank you so much. Please follow her Instagram. Yes, follow me at uh, Alex Relev. Alex R A L E V. Thank you.